What up, YouTube? So today I'm going to start diving into this project. And uh, today I'm going to focus on the head. I want to degrease the whole figure, you know, and get it cleaned up, but you don't want to get the actuators wet. But you don't want to tear it apart too much that you're putting all these pieces back together. So I'm going to tackle this project into sections. And uh, I'm going to start with the head. The head's not in too bad shape, uh, mechanically. Uh, I'll just need to double check on these eyes to make sure they're not rubbing because if you see some videos like at Billy Bob's Wonderland you'll see lines across the eyes and that's from the eyelids the corner of the eyelids rubbing so I need to check all that I want to degrease everything the back here these collars I took one of the set screws off but most of them are missing set screws I took it to Home Depot they're 1032 so I got some 1032 set screws to replace it um, first thing I noticed was these actuators were cocked sideways but then I also noticed that um, the plastic is a little cocked sideways so you want to set it up so that you're not going to break this because you'll probably snap these eyelids off no problem but you know that's the kind of stuff I'm going to do I'm going to test all the actuators so just a uh, little by little, but I'm going to first start out by taking all the actuators off and then taking the head off and then degreasing the head. So then it doesn't get, uh, you don't get all dirty working on it. He's decapitated, and I'm putting all the parts on a towel so I don't lose any parts. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the eyes and eyelids out oh, while I'm here. Okay, so I tore it all apart and I degreased it, but I didn't put it back together yet because on the eyelids, it has this aluminum rod that slides in between here, and then it has these aluminum rod tabs. Well, as you can see, um, the aluminum actually has worn away quite a bit especially on this right eye and so same on the rod the other side isn't that bad for some reason so what I did is on Amazon I bought a new 3 16th aluminum rod and I'm waiting for that to come in <clears throat> so I'm gonna put a new rod in the center so we don't have as much play now on this outside here um, this little aluminum rod or stud is actually welded in so you would have to like cut this off, drill it out, and then I thought about tapping this and then taking the rod and putting a die to the rod and put threads on it so you can screw it in. But that's a, a lot of work and there's other stuff I want to focus on. So once I get replaced this center aluminum rod, I'm just going to put the head back together. And maybe in the future if that becomes a problem, I can deal with it. Okay, yesterday I actually got in the 8th inch NBT to 8th inch OD uh, fittings, so now I can actually uh, pressure check all the head cylinders. Okay, I got the first eyelid actuator hooked up, and perfect, no leaks. Off to a good start. Okay, so I tested both eyelid cylinders and the mouth cylinders, and all of them are good. With the exception, the mouth cylinder has a very small leak, but I had to put it up to my ear to uh, hear it. I mean, it's very minute, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. But now I'm going to test the eye turn cylinders, which are totally different than all the other cylinders because it's a single acting cylinder with spring return. So you had to plug up one of the ports and then just have... Uh, one uh, one hose go to uh, supply air and then return air. So I hooked up the first one and it's bad. So right here is a little exhaust port so the air can escape going in and out and it's just flooding out of that exhaust port so that means the seal in there is bad but I don't think these eyelid cylinders are rebuildable. 
So it is actuating, but as you can see, it's not going as far as it can can go. So in the future, I'll just have to replace them or. But yeah, these are definitely leaking. They're blowing by the seal. And to show you a comparison, the second I turn cylinder is fine. So that's how it's supposed to be. And as you saw in the previous video, this one is leaking. I don't think these I turn cylinders are rebuildable. Okay, so the aluminum rod came in, so I cut it down to replace this one. And also I went ahead and got uh, two new I cylinders. I actually went ahead and ordered three of them because they were cheap enough and you saved on shipping. And I don't have no I cylinders for the other figure I have. So once I get that set up, I'll have uh, plenty of I cylinders. So I'll just put two brand new ones in just because I have them. So uh, now I'm gonna go and see if I remember how to put everything back together. Well, as you could see, it took me quite a bit to get the iMac lined up so there wasn't any bindage, bondage, uh, bindage, ah, I can't talk, bindage. Um, so I finally got it. Um, I had to, on the new actuator, I noticed that this actuator, the rod end was cut, so I had to cut that down. And then I also had to arrange the washers. I wasn't paying attention when I took it out to move this back a little so that when this came all the way forward, it wouldn't bind right there. And actually, to tell you the truth, I remember that it was binding right there when I first got the figure. But you don't want any bind because it'll just tear itself apart. You want the actuator to actually reach its limit. So that's happening right now. So now I need to center the eyes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up air pressure to one actuator and uh, set the eyes centered. Okay, so I have the air pressure hooked up to one of the actuators. 
and I had it on this switch. And I, so when one of them's on, I centered the And then when both of them are on, so when the other one comes on, it looks right. Okay, the head is all put back together. I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out, the condition of it. So, next we'll probably be working on the head turn mechanism, which is in much worse shape than what the head was in. So, see ya.